to affect. So, um, if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you may not know, but I was on vacation in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, um, and just got back yesterday. So, I wanted to do a video <clears throat> of the haul that I did of... I went by Jerry's Artorama in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, we don't have Jerry's here, so I did a Facebook Live video, so you should definitely go and um, check me out on Facebook. And we walked through the whole store, and I showed you all the good stuff. It was amazing. And now I wanted to show you what I actually picked up while I was there. So the first part of the haul, I'm going to go through the Jerry stuff. The second part of the haul, I'm going to go through what I picked up at the flea market and all of the little ephemera pieces that I picked up on our trip. So, further ado, I got two Amsterdam acrylic paints. I've never tried Amsterdam. However, I just about can't turn down the um, being able to try the um, neon pinks because y'all know that's my jam. And then I really like this. It's the olive green. Um, so I got those two. Now, while we're on the Amsterdam kick, I also got two bottles of ink. One of these inks is the same exact color as this. Well, maybe y'all can tell. It's by Amsterdam. I'm, I was going to try to get a um, this FW fluorescent that I always use is a little thin. So I wanted to be able to get... Um, hopefully this will be thicker, so we'll see. But I got those. I've got this amazing turquoise green. I don't know. It looks more green in the camera as I'm looking at it than it does. But it's a really beautiful teal turquoise color. And then I got gray, a neutral gray, and Liquitex inks because y'all know I love inks. Um, and I don't have a gray. So, and I got those. And then I got these nice little brown bags, which you know I will, I will have to reuse those as well. So we're going to set those to the side. I got this um, Creative Marks Value Line. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I really liked how um, chunky and those bristle brushes are. So I'm terrible on brushes. So I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. And they had these on sale for like five bucks. So I figured, and I like a long candle brush. So I figured they would be great to try. In this little baggie, all right, let's see. I got, um, they had individual Neo Color 2 um, watercolor pencil crayons and guys it was all I could do was stay within budget because there was so much amazingness but I got gray um and I got this turquoise green because well y'all know I love those colors and then I found a Stabilo white Stabilo all white pencil and I got a white china marker so I really wanted a brown one in this Stabilo All Brown. If y'all have one, um, let me know. Like, send me a message or something, and I'll pay for it to be shipped to me because the shipping and the individual pencils on Amazon or anywhere else I've seen them are pretty astronomical, and I don't have a supplier. So, um, got those. Put that to the side. Now, the other things I got were these paints. Hold on. Let me zoom out again. Oops, sorry. All right, these paints are in what I'm going to call a mustard bottle. But they are 500 milliliters of, and they're easy to squeeze, which is good because y'all know my hands. Lord, for mercy. Okay, so I got the um, magenta. I got the titanium white. I got the Payne's gray. And I got the turquoise. So these are the colors. They ran about $10.50 a bottle, I think. But they are huge bottles. Um, I've heard a lot of really great things with professional um, 
professional artists they are fine artist acrylics but you cannot get this quantity of anything in fine artist acrylics and they cost you ten and a half dollars so that is a quick little i'm not going to crunch that background so that's all that i got at jerry's artorama and that was with Whew, I really wanted a lot of stuff, but I don't know about y'all, but I don't have a money tree So I had to set a budget before I ever walked in the door and promised myself that I would stay with the budget. So That's what I came up with. All right So I'm gonna set these bottles to the side and if you're not interested in junk in my junkin haul That's all for the Jerry's art drama, but if you are just stay with me so in the Smoky Mountains, they have an amazing flea market that I've went to several times and um, I always have some good finds. So this is kind of a mix. I'll try to keep it separate. Okay, I'll do all the, the um. So I got these country ham bags. <laughs> They're bags that country ham comes into. Um, I got four of those. I really don't have a clue as to what I'm going to do with them, but I liked the images on it it has text on the back and it's fabric and i got those for about a buck a piece or 75 cents a piece something like that so i grabbed those let's see i'm gonna stick with my thrift store finds so this was a major find all right let me zoom in okay so i hit this lady's booth up that was out there and the very first items that I picked up were these sales books. So they are from 1942. These sales books of, it was back in the day when you have like a store and you would allow people to charge, do account charges or whatever. And so they would, uh, and see this says, it started in, well, this one started in 45, but this one has 42, so they paid in full. But all of them have handwriting on it. Where they uh, charge things, and then they would come in and they would pay. Beans was 38 cents, and cakes was 10 cents. So they had a um, account charge, Mr. Ed Jet. Hmm. Um, they had a charge for 48 cents. Wow, that's that's crazy, isn't it? And so, yeah, all these people had charges. It was show when they would come in and they would pay like $2 on their account when they paid it in full, so forth and so on. But this, the stories, I mean, it just blows my mind. So I put my hands on it and then the lady said, are you a paper girl? And I thought, oh, Lord, I'm not going to be able to afford this, Jesus. What's this lady going to be asking for these? And I was like, yes, ma'am. I said, I'm a mixed media artist, and I love incorporating and giving things a second life. And um, I would really love to have these. And she was like, um, so what are they worth to you? I said, well, they're worth probably more than what I could afford. And she said, well, how much would you be willing to pay? I said, would you take $5? She said, yes. I said, Heck yeah, baby. I just hit the jackpot. So, um, these beauties blows my mind. Look at all the color. Like, what? It's no telling what they've been through in their life. All right, moving on along. <clears throat> let me see what else I found. All right, also at the, let me back this up. Also at the, um, flea market there is an elderly couple who sells books they sell hardback they sell and they typically sell them for 50 cents to a dollar so they have new books they have old books so i opened this book and it had all these numbers i'm gonna hold it up a little bit so it had all these numbers and stuff so i was like that's a great collage book i ended up <clears throat> excuse me getting a total of five books um <clears throat> which i will be working on trying to i'm gonna try to do a new workshop called um it's my first solo workshop i'm gonna do which is called junk journal and job and I got some of these books, and, and I'm going to show you guys how to take a hardback book and turn it into 
um, a junk journal book where you use pieces and parts of other books. Um, hence the name Junk Journal and Jive. And I'm going to show you how to do that and bind it and all that good stuff. So that's coming in the future. But these were great books um, with great covers. And I really like the sizes of the ones that I got. I'm not going to show you all six of them. There was there five or six? I think there was five of them. Um, but that is something for you to look forward to in the future that will be coming up. All right, keep going. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly jump over to, they have a, that was pretty much about all I got or all I can remember that I got at the flea market. So they also have a scrapbook warehouse in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, or maybe it's Pigeon Forge, but anyway. And um, when I went in there, I got these foam stamps. Um, they had them marked down to 99 cents, but they were, um, I really like the size of them. They're foam. Um, so for 99 cents, I was like, that's worth it. And then they, I got the larger set, as you can see here. So I got those, $2. And now I'll show you um, my little things that I picked up as we went through. So um, I bought some tea from the Spice and Tea Exchange. Some spices, actually. We had somebody take care of our chickens while we were gone, and they loved barbecue. So I went into the spice place, and I got them. But I love the little baggie um, that it came in. So I'm going to reuse that for something. Um, we went to the Apple Barn um, and Cider Mill and General Store several times. Um, I did a lot of Christmas shopping there. So I asked the lady, ma'am, do you mind if I have a few of these little bags? And she said, no, honey, take them. So I was like, that's perfect. So I got that. We went, when we went to the Apple Barn restaurant, um, they serve you apple fritters. That are amazing and then if you want some to go they put them in this little bag well I saw the bag and I was like um excuse me ma'am <laughs> do you, I know I'm not getting any fritters to go but do you mind if I have a bag and she said how about two and I said well praise Jesus yes thank you very much I love it so I got two of those bags great great collage stuff there and, of course, if you've ever been to Tennessee, specifically to Smoke Mountains, you know everything's about that moonshine, honey. So, um, we did do a few moonshine tastings, and we did bring some moonshine home. But inside of that was wrapped with the Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine tissue paper. You know I'm going to reuse that. Only y'all get it. My husband just rolls his eyes. And last but not least, we also went to, y'all know where that is, Greenbow County in Greenbow, Alabama. Well, they have Forrest Gump in uh, Gatlinburg. Um, Forrest Gump shrimp, whatever it's called. Bubba Gumps. Okay. Shh. I don't even know if that's the name. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, they have their restaurant. Well, under Josh's Sandwich... He had <clears throat> this uh, paper there. So I had gumbo, and so I didn't have any paper. But I was like, when I asked the waiter, I said, excuse me, sir. This is where my sweet little southern accent comes in to benefit me. I said, hey, sweetie, do you, do you think I could just get a sheet of that paper that's under there? I said, I know that's odd. He said, well, how about I give you a few sheets? And I said, well, praise the Lord. Thank you very much. I'll be happy to take those. So now I have three of these um, Greenbow County Dispatch newspaper, deli papers, and it has um, when Jenny Gump dies at home. It has all kinds of like um, University of Alabama interrogated, football star of University of Alabama. So I thought it was pretty awesome. I'm going to incorporate that in a piece of art. So pretty much that's all that I got. Um, but then when I got home, I had something that I had ordered off of eBay, and I might as well just show y'all. So these are canceled checks from this bank in 37, I think I got 37 and 25. 
So I got a few of these. I really liked them. They'll make for good collage materials, etc. We'll give them a new life. So, I don't do very many haul videos because I do try to recycle and reuse and repurpose the things that I have. But, when it comes to getting free stuff like this, think about all of the stuff that you have when you go to restaurants or you get these little... You buy something that's in these cute little bags, how can you reuse them? Um, and then, of course, you can never go wrong when you buy paints. And I could not miss out on going by Jerry's. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my haul. I look forward to making videos where I use all of these fun materials. And if you would, just give me the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me about what you think about my haul. And always, always, always click that subscribe button and invite this country gal into your house. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.